गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल रीड द फर्स्ट पोएम ऑफ द बुक हॉन्डविल द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज आ फोटोग्राफ एंड दिस पोएम इज रिटन बाई सैडली टॉल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू आ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पोएम द पोएम कैप्चर्स थ्री डिफरेंट मूड्स एंड सिचुएशन इन थ्री स्टैंडर्स द फर्स्ट वन टेल्स अबाउट अ स्नैप शॉट or an instant cardboard photo of three girls they are cousins the eldest one the big girl just 12 years old and later she became the mother of the poetess after marriage they were enjoying a sea holiday they had put on funny dresses they are with their uncle who had a camera within his hands their uncle clicks the camera and captures the smiling faces of all the three girls some 20 30 years later the mother looks at the photo and she laughs she tells the poetess how her cousins betty and dolly had all dressed for the holidays the outing on the beach in a quaint dress was the mother's past but her, la- her laughter has become a thing of past for the poetess because the poetess mother had passed away she had passed away some 12 years ago the void created by her death has made life dull and eventless now we come to the poem photograph a photograph the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girls cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and see the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their fa- hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the see which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient fit in the first stanza the poet describe a photograph that is pasted on a cardboard in this photograph there are three girls including poetess mother and they were holding the hands of her mother this was the photograph was taken when her mother was just 12 years old they were standing at the beach and looking towards the camera where their uncle was standing to take the click it was a very sweet face of poet's mother and it was when she when she was a child and see which appears to have changed last in this photograph there is a description of see also which has changed but very less is seems that it is washing their footprints at that time some 20 30 years later she would laugh at snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed as for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is a laughter both day with the labored ease of loss in the second stanza the poetess mother had seen that particular photograph after 20 30 years later and seeing this photograph she reminds her childhood memories and she begin to laugh she also indicate towards her cousin saying their name betty and dolly and she also indicate about their dresses that they were wearing she shows this photograph to her daughter but now this sea holiday we know was the past of poetess mother but that laughter is also become the past of poetess because her mother is no more in this world and this makes her sad and she doesn't have anything to say now she had been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstances there is nothing to say at all it silence silences 
in the third stanza the poet is described the death of her mother and saying that that girl has been a long time when she died now she had written i think this poem by seeing this photograph these are these are very painful circumstances because poetess has lost her mother so at the end of here poem she finds that the it silence silences means the silence of the death makes everyone silence that is the end of the poem now we look at the summary of the poem the poetess looks at the photograph of her late mother with her two cousins on a sea beach the mother was the eldest of the three 12 years old and had a lovely face they were escorted by the uncle who clicked the camera the girls stood in shallow water the sea waves seemed to be washing their feet which changed fast with the passage of time only the sea has shown no change its behavior over the years the mother happened to see her photograph after a time gap of some 20 30 years she was amused to see the pretty beach dresses of all the three girls she blushed and laughed she told the poetess that they had been dressed for the pleasure trip by her cousin betty and dolly the sea holiday was the poet's mother's past and after she had passed away her laughter became a thing of past for the poetess both had lost their newness with the passing of time the photograph is twisted and faded the memory of the mother's laughter has also grown faint the mother of the poetess died some 12 years ago the poetess had faced only blank silences after her mother's death she has nothing to say but about that period since the mother left thank you very much i hope you like it